Cosmos, 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 bring me home. Bring me. Cosmos, I got to tell you, buddy, whoo, I really enjoy the art of trolling. There's so much to learn. Hello, everyone. I'm the Doc, your host, the Ghost Net Guy. Your co-host, of course, is Cosmos, and he seems to be racking the balls today, so he's ready to play some more pool. But I'd like to look into his right eye and learn about Dodgers and Flashers. And so this upcoming film short, number 26, what should we label it as? Okay, Flashers and Dodgers. Let's do it. Flashers and Dodgers, number 26. Wow, Cosmos, thanks, buddy. We're out on the water today. It's pretty calm out. We got the gear down, sitting in about 80 to 90 feet of depth on the downrigger. Now, we're using downriggers, and these downriggers are designed to hold heavy lots of weight, like cannonballs of weight. And where they range from 12 to 15 to 18 to 20 pounds in size. I prefer the 15 pound class. And I use a release clip that holds fairly strong because when you start towing flashers, they pull hard. And as they pull hard, they like to trip out of the release clip, which makes it frustrating for yourself when you're out there trying to catch some fish and you can't get the gear down because it keeps tripping free of the release. So the type of release that I have discovered that works really, really well is the Black's Kite Release, and you can pick it up at Sport Co. All right, so now this release now is on a downrigger line, and then at that point I can take my flasher, I can put a bend in it to match my boat speed, which gives me a nice snappy action, because these fish will follow along for quite some time as this rotates. Now if I'm using a dodger, I'm going to have a fast snappy action, and the leader length is going to vary from four to six feet behind a banana sinker weight system of some type. Trolling is real productive most of the time of the year, and you can see a lot of fun things while you're out on the water. Just remember, everyone, when you are on the water, you want to wear your life jackets, and you want to make sure that you have the proper equipment on your boat, maybe a bell and a whistle, maybe even consider filing a float plan for you guys that have been fishing in the ocean. I know sometimes you got to get out 55 miles to reel in a big halibut. Woo, I tell you what, there's nothing nicer than fresh halibut. However, it's not worth risking your life for. So watch your weather conditions, and when you look into the sky in our northwest waters, we call them mare's tail. Actually, they're ice clouds that are starting to form, and they accompany a front that starts to come into our northwest about 150 miles out. So depending upon wind and what's happening, you have about 10 hours or so before maybe you start picking up some heavy weather. Until next time, everyone, this is the Doc with Cosmos reminding you, be safe out on the water. Bye-bye.